Alright guys, when I got home from work today, I had this waiting in the mail for me. It's from Lone Wolf Lock Hacking. Um, I'll include his link in the description. If not already subscribed to him, you should go check him out. Uh, his is a newer channel, sort of like mine, but he has some great videos. Uh, on one of the lock picking uh, groups on Facebook, uh, that's how we met initially, and he was saying he was running low on challenge locks, and I said, well, I'd be happy to swap some with you, so here we are. Let's see what we have here. It's a nice way to ship locks, I like that. Yeah, that's actually, huh, that's really cool. Start from this end. Bronze Age. Pinned up by Lone Wolf Lock. Picking earlier this month. It's a sergeant. It's a pretty old sergeant. You can see why he calls it Bronze Age. <laughs> Here's the key. It's pretty nice. I like it. Some highs and some lows. Let's try it out. Ooh, super smooth. There's not a hitch at all. Awesome. I really like sergeants. I think they're pretty fun. All right, what do we have here? Sub Zero. Also pinned up by Lone Wolf. There's a Kiwi. Look at that. Oh man. <laughs> Trying to get around number three without oversetting it. It's probably a challenge, but once again, super smooth. And I like that key. That is a pretty snazzy key. Schleg. Normal SE1. It's in a, a kick holder. That's the key. More moderate than the other ones. I may even have a chance of opening up this one. <laughs> uh, there's not a label with this one, so I'll see if one fell off, maybe. I'm gonna set the one on the side. Quick set by Chris Aaron's. You can see his little cross right there, number 38. That is beautiful. I mean, alarming, yeah, but beautiful. Yep, by Chris Aaron's. I'm sure if you subscribe to my channel, you also subscribe to his. But if not, you should you should check him out. Nice and smooth. Another sergeant. Awesome. There's the keyway. There's the key. There you go. That is awesome. Ooh, that is beautiful. The show. Pinned up by my friend Bronx Lock Picker 60. He makes some awesome locks. So smooth. Man. I feel like my challenge locks aren't nearly this smooth. <laughs> I'm not a locksmith or anything, so I kind of just work with what I have, but... Alright. Schlage Everest. Bill Bacardi, number 19. Oh, yeah. That's... <laughs> when you have a challenge lock from Bill Bacardi, that's exactly what what you think you'll find, and that's exactly what you find. Schleg Everest. I've never actually opened up a, a Schleg Everest. I have, a, I have another challenge lock that's a Schleg Everest, but haven't opened it up yet. All right, so there's... All these are labeled but this one. Um, Lone Wolf, if, if you're watching, let me know. Uh, whose lock this is, and I'll include a tag with it. But as you can see, I'm gonna have my hands full. I still have a lot of challenge locks that I got. Uh, who's the last person I traded with? Oh yeah, um, West Coast Pick sent me a whole lot of challenge locks, so I got plenty of challenge locks, which is nice, because for a while there I was running really low. But anyway, hope you guys like what you saw. Uh, please subscribe if so. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I'll include my email in the description. Feel free to reach out if you want to swap locks or anything. Um, 
You may notice that in place of writing out my email, I don't use the at sign f for at Gmail. Um, I'm a digital marketer, and I know there are scraping tools out there that can crawl websites and find any emails to send them emails that nobody wants. So that's why I separate it that way, just so, just in case anyone was wondering. All right, thank you very much, and have a great night.